Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. So I installed the app on my phone and when I start the app, as you can see the, uh, the app is basically detecting the planes and as I move around, it will merge the overlapping planes and increase the boundary of the existing planes. Hi and welcome. Today we are going to start with the augmented reality tutorial series. So for the first tutorial, we are going to see how to set up a simple scene in augmented reality and how to do a simple plane detection in Unity. To get started, you should have either installed the Android build support or iOS build support. So if you have not installed them, open your Unity hub, go to installs, then you will see a gear icon here, click on that, click on add modules and make sure either Android build or iOS build is installed. Now if you if you're developing for both Android and iOS then both these builds should be installed. In the Unity Hub click on new project. Now Unity has an AR template you can either start with the AR template and if you're not downloaded the AR template it will give you an option to download the AR template so you can either download that but the AR template comes with some sample scenes and already configured settings. Now, if you if you want to convert a 3D game which is already existing into an AR game, then you need to do all these settings inside the Unity editor. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'll not be using AR template because it already has all the settings. We'll be creating a new 3D project and then make converting that into an AR project. So let's select 3D and we'll call this as my AR tutorial okay create project so this will take some time and your unity editor will load up so once your default 3d scene is open you can delete the main camera from the scene because we will not be using the unity's camera we'll be using the phone's camera to detect planes Now since we have not used the AR template, we need to install AR Foundation package. So let's go to Windows Package Manager and in the Unity registry, search for AR Foundation and install the package. Once the package is installed, you will see an AR Foundation folder inside your packages folder. So if that is there, that means you have the AR Foundation installed. And you should also see an XOR option in your hierarchy window. Now you have to tell Unity what you are going to do with the XOR option. So you have to go to the project settings and you have to find XR plugin management. And inside that, go to Android. And if you are building for iOS, you will have an iOS option. And click on AR Core. And for iOS, it will be AR Kit. So this will add the required dependencies for both Android and iOS. So once it is added, you have to go to File, Build Settings, select Android or iOS as your platform and click on Switch Platform. So this will reload all the project files inside your Unity and you will be ready to use Android or iOS as your build platform. Now again, go to Build Settings and click on Player Settings and you have to go to other settings in uncheck auto graphics api and remove vulkan the split scripting backend should be set to il2 cpp then the minimum api level should be an api level 24 and in case you are building for ios then the minimum ios version should be 11 and the architecture should be ARM64. Now it's time to get your scene ready. So make sure your default camera is deleted. After that, go to XR and click on AR Session Origin. Now AR Session Origin has the AR camera inside it, so you don't have to add it. and then go to XR and add AR session. So these two are like the basic 
game objects required for an AR game. Uh, any further features that you want to add like plane detection, you have to add that component to the AR session origin. So we want to do AR plane detection. So first let's add an AR plane to our scene, AR default plane. So as you can see, it is just an empty game object with all the plane visualizer script and all this attached to it. So if you want to have a custom plane and do not want to use the default AR plane, then you can change the material component of the AR default plane and put in whatever material you want so that the plane looks different when you render it. Okay. Now you need the AR default plane to be a prefect so that you can add it to the AR plane manager. So let's drag and drop the AR default plane onto our project window so it becomes a prefab. So we can now delete it from our scene. Then go to AR session origin, click on add component and search for AR plane manager. Okay. And in the AR plane manager, you will have an option for the plane prefab. So drag and drop your AR plane prefab that you created earlier. So now we are ready with the basic settings and if you build this app as it is and run it on your phone, it will detect all the planes. Since we have selected the detection mode as everything, it will detect both vertical and horizontal planes. Now there are some things you should know about plane detection. Now AR plane detection only detects a texture. So if you have a complete plane wall with complete white paint, both AR core and AR kit will not be able to identify it as a wall. But if you have a wall with a painting, then it will be able to identify it. So it requires a simple texture to be on the wall or on the floor to detect it as a surface. So now we can just save the scene and go to build settings and click on add open scene. So that will add our scene to the build settings. And after that is done, you can either build or if you have the phone connected, then you can just say build and run. So let's build and see how it looks in the phone. So I installed the app on my phone. And when I start the app, as you can see, the, uh, the app is basically detecting the planes. And as I move around, it will merge the overlapping planes and increase the boundary of the existing planes. So this is how you can set up the basic AR foundation in Unity. And remember, if you select the AR template while creating your new project, then you don't need to do all these settings. It is already pre-configured for you. So you can directly build the sample scene and run it. So we'll be covering more AR topics in the next few videos. And if you have any specific requests for AR foundation, then you can leave that in the comment below. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.